blasts were heard near the Marshal Fahim Defence University in Kabul. They were followed by an exchange of gunfire. So far, no group has claimed responsibility. And this comes just days after a suicide bombing by the Taliban killed more than 100 people in the capital. Now, for more on this, Bilal Sarwari joins me live from Kabul. Bilal, thanks for joining us. What's the latest there? Well, we are hearing from uh, residents inside uh, an internally displaced uh, camp uh, that there's still gunfire, and uh, you have not uh, been hearing some uh, heavy explosions in the last one hour or so, at least from the point of view of uh, those people who are living outside of the uh, Marshal Fahim and National Defense University. Uh, speaking to Minister of Defense sources, they are confirming that at least two attackers uh, are dead, and they could be fighting one or more attackers. Uh, we're also learning from uh, some security sources uh, that these attackers uh, had night vision goggles, and they started their attack uh, around 5 o'clock, uh, so very dark. Obviously, this shows uh, a level of sophistication to carry an attack in the dark of uh, a night. Uh, one eyewitness also told me that he can uh, see a ladder that was used uh, by one of the attackers, uh, and they placed a blanket or some sort of clothing on the barbed wire. Uh, it's a huge embarrassment, uh, given the fact that the country, especially the capital Kabul, was put on a high state of alert. We expect uh, the Indonesian uh, president to be in Kabul today. At least his pictures are all over the city in Kabul. Uh, was celebrating a public holiday. The government had told the people of Afghanistan that it was doing that uh, to look after uh, those wounded in the deadly attack um, here in Kabul. Uh, but uh, we also knew from uh, officials in the Afghan government that key Afghan government institutions, especially military institutions, were placed on a high state of alert. Bilal. Let me ask you, this is a military academy, possibly one of the most secure areas in Kabul, I imagine, and you're talking about a level of sophistication indeed, with, with a ladder and night vision goggles. How does this happen, especially since this was targeted just a few months ago, killing a number of military cadets? Well, for now, it's just another day here in Kabul, another intelligence and security failure. Uh, the Marshal Fahim National Defense University is Great Britain's uh, military legacy. When uh, British forces pulled out of uh, Helmand uh, after suffering uh, casualties and fatalities, this is also where Afghanistan is looking for leadership uh, within its uh, military institutions. Uh, we have a crisis of leadership, so Afghanistan does send its best and brightest to this institution, uh, including uh, female uh, cadets. Uh, we also know uh, that Western military instructors are working quite hard here uh, in, in this uh, academy, despite a number of insider attacks in the last many years in which uh, they've either been wounded or killed by their Afghan colleagues. And only last year, we had a deadly suicide attack outside of uh, the uh, defense uh, university. So. Uh, I think what the people of Kabul are demanding is better security. What you had yesterday, the Minister of Defense, Interior and Head of Intelligence, all very adamant and defensive that they were good at their jobs and that the Afghan military was uh, doing the right things and that, uh, you know, their resignations as demanded by the people in Kabul was not going to be a solution. And yet again, this morning you have this attack. We still don't have full details, how many casualties and fatalities there could be, where exactly the attackers are. But the fact that you have hours of having small arms fired, I think, alone will undermine the confidence of the people and the government. And I think that's one of the challenges for the Western military institutions trying to build up the Afghan National Security Forces. They are actually quite simply very frustrated by these uh, level of uh, incompetence, at least in private, they've told me many, many times. And the people of Afghanistan are asking for one simple thing, and that is uh, that Kabul be protected and the, in these attacks should be really prevented. Okay.